Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a thrift store haul to share with you. So if you'd like to see what treasures I found, then stick around. As I said, I went to the thrift store today. Uh, by the way, just for information, because people have been asking, I did have the surgery. I had it uh, over a month, and I think it was six weeks ago, and I am finally able to uh, drive again. So uh, that's why I went out on one of my first outings on my own, driving uh, not far from home. It's only about five minutes from my house, um, I went to the thrift store and it went well um, and I'm not in pain so uh, that's the best part of the news for me is that I did this without any pain and uh, I was pretty mobile so I'm happy. <laughs> okay let's see what I got at the thrift store. So when I haven't been to that thrift store in oh months and months and months because my mobility has been limited. Uh, I had to have surgery for my hip and I just couldn't walk around on my own without assistance and it was hard to get around and so thrifting was not in the picture. So I went today uh, just because I wanted to do something uh, on my own for the first time <laughs> in months. <laughs> And this is what I did. And I love checking out the thrift store whenever I can because this thrift store not only do all the proceeds go to a good cause to help uh, the food bank, the Ottawa food bank system, uh, their prices are really good. So, and I look for little treasures. I like to find old books that could be interesting for my artwork. I like to collect old books for the images and for my other mixed media projects. So I got this one. It's a book on Florence, Italy. It's it's in French and uh, by the way, I can read French, so that's not a problem for me. Uh, but I didn't get it to read it. I got it because it's old. The pages have yellowed. It's in great condition, though. It's really not, it's not falling apart, really. For a little touristy guidebook, it's in great shape. And it is protected with this plastic cover. Anyway, the pages have yellowed. They're, they're glossy pages. But there's fabulous images in here. And uh, for someone who's into collecting images for collage work, working in junk journals, doing mixed media art, this is great. And I do love, uh, I do have a, a love for art in general as well. And I do especially like uh, Italian art. So uh, yeah, this is great for me also picked up this little book. This was a library book. I like to look for the library books because they often have the pocket. Yes, this one has the pocket left and I like to pull these out and use these in my journals and other projects. And this book is actually a Canadian book. Uh, English Canadian book and it was yeah it's a Canadian council book and the paper is like watercolor paper almost it's or is it water no maybe not watercolor maybe like kind of like very thick sketching paper it's got a, a tooth to it it's a very nice paper so it is a stitched book, which uh, 
might be nice for me to take apart to make into a journal and repurpose the cover, repurpose the paper as pretty little prints. Uh, but it is a Canadian book. I'm not familiar with this one. and But I will give it a read before uh, just to honor the fact that this is Canadian. <laughs> Next book I picked up was this one, Au Fond des Océans. It's, uh, it's a book on sea life. Again, it was, it used to be a library book. Again, this one has the pocket and a card. So an old library card and pocket. So I'm very happy. That's a score for me. And this one I bought primarily for the fishies, <laughs> the fish images. Um, I wanted to add sea life images to my stash, my collage stash, and there are things that I don't have in my collage images. I don't have a lot of these exotic type of fish. Oh, and jellyfish. So this will be great for me to take apart. Then Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, this one's an old one. It's all yellowed. Uh, but despite the fact that it's all yellowed, it's still in good condition. It's holding well. And again, I bought this book uh, to use in my artwork. And this is all about the works of Leonardo da Vinci. And it's got the great patina on the pages. Uh, it's yeah it's it's a gorgeous gorgeous art book so uh, what will happen is that these these books will sit around for a very long time I will read them I will go through them we'll look at the pages back and forth before I even dare dare to do anything else with them. <laughs> I cannot it's in my DNA I cannot tear books apart just willy-nilly I have to really think about it I have to you know check that this is not a extremely valuable or rare book or anything like that so the books at my thrift store by the way they're 25 cents a piece all books so that's good and I got as a bonus these file folders. Uh, I have five file folders. They gave these to me because I was buying the books, and uh, I wanted some extra file folders in my stash because the file folder uh, and these are brand. These are they're never used. They're not. They've been around a while, but they're not used. So um, the. This is great for making tags, making nice manila tags and stuff. So that's what I like to use these file folders for. It is a craft supply. Okay. This is the mail. Oh, this is not uh, from the thrift store. <laughs> I was stopped at the post office. Okay, but it was in my bag. All right, next. Avon catalog. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, here is oh, here's a kitty. I did not get the kitty at the thrift store. Although I would I would have paid a large amount of money for you. Eh? Okay. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> As it's a sweet kitty. I got this big bag of floss. Oh, I have a bag. So cause this is Cosmo, by the way. Cosmo loves to go inside bags when we come home from shopping, whatever it is we're bought, we've whatever, whatever bag we have, he loves to go inside the bag. So just let him have his fun there. I got this big bag of floss. Oh, you're gonna fall down, baby. Careful. Look at all this floss. I got all this. This is my hand. Look, look this. I got all these things of floss. 
uh, and obviously left over from pro many projects from somebody. So we had a whole bag and somebody had taken the time to wrap each skein around little pieces of cardboard. Look at that. So any floss that they, they had, maybe left out, I don't know if this was left over from all their projects or what, but they wrapped the floss around these little homemade bobbins, little cardboards. So I have tons and tons of color. And uh, to me, this is great for my, my projects. So I got like a whole bunch here. Oh, you love thread, eh? Coswell really likes thread too. <laughs> Say, ooh, kitty is like, ooh, threads, these are fun. So I got, that was a bag in a bag, and I got more here. So there, it's hard to tell if there's full, a lot of, a lot on here, because the way they're wrapped, but I imagine, I could, I could do a lot with this. I mean, this will be really fun for, uh, slow stitching i i'm into the this slow stitching thing i've i've always been a sewer and i've liked to do all sorts of needle crafts and um lately i've really been looking uh more and more into having slow stitching projects uh because i find it it's great uh, slow stitching is a, a meditative process more than a project-oriented uh, craft and uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it so this is great for slow stitching and for any other project I might have here are some brand there's brand new skeins in here I got all this all this was two dollars so that is a super deal um, what did I get these are, are these cotton? Oh, some of these, I do not know what they are. They could be a blend. There's some DMC. No, this is not DMC. Uh, sorry. Similar, similar to DMC. This is a similar to DMC. So, so yeah, so these are a, they're copycat. And what is the fiber content in here? I'm trying to see if these are these are made in Thailand. European quality color fast. I can't tell what the fiber content is. It's not on here. So they are they are matte colored threads. Um, they're a cotton or a cotton blend. Uh, I don't care if I wanted like silk thread I would go buy silk thread I you know I wouldn't go to the thrift store but uh, yep yeah, this for me two bucks for all this for projects for slow stitching yep yeah, it's cool um, I'm happy with that I got that for two bucks. The other thing I got was this cute little container, this little box, like a, like a small hat box. And this was only 25 cents. And I thought the colors were great for this room. And uh, I'll be able to put all these threads in there. And this could be, I could dedicate this to my slow stitching projects and just grab whatever I need uh, from here. Some other sewing things I 
picked up were these mending tapes. They're, they've never been used. Uh, these were 10 cents a piece. Can't beat that. These are the type uh, that you iron on to uh, make repairs in garments. So we have got navy and beige. So these are, are great. These are great for repairing tears, let's say in a, a trench coat, a jacket type of thing. They're great for that. And I got this package of seam binding for 10 cents also. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it is an old package, but it has never been open. So yeah, and this is made in Montreal when stuff was still made in Montreal. Oh, it's rayon. It's all rayon. So, very pretty pink color too. Uh, a measuring tape. This was 50 cents, but I think they gave it to me. They didn't even charge me for that. And I just, I like it. It's, um, it's a vinyl tape, so it's just practical to drape around my neck if I, if I need to measure stuff. And I got this little bag of these fun little beads. Um, this was marked a dollar. And there's all these little pieces of jewelry inside, which is perfect for me for all my projects. There's even a little ivory elephant in here. And there's these... Uh, Scotty dog beads and these other funky beads. So, beads for projects. And I got this bag of buttons. This was also a dollar. Um, although it said these, this was a dollar, this was a dollar, but I know they didn't charge me a dollar because they made me a price for all the sewing stuff, basically. So, whatever. I'm, I was happy with it. Uh, and there's some pretty cool buttons in here. Some pretty old ones. Pretty old, beautiful buttons. I love buttons. I have, I have too many buttons already. Um, but I still... If I find something uh, cool, I will pick it up. And the, these are very old buttons. These are very, very old vintage buttons. Some of these are absolutely gorgeous buttons. They're glass. These are pure glass buttons. Nice. This is a brass one. Oh, copper. This one's copper. Nice. Look at these. This is cool. These are some very cool old buttons. These are obviously from coats. Probably, but this is really, yeah, so they're very old buttons. Oh yeah, these are, these are from an ancient button box. Very cool buttons. They're even rusty at the back. The shanks are a little rusty there. Oh, this is gorgeous. This will, this will be perfect for slow stitching mixed media projects. This one has the rhinestones, the black rhinestones in it. Very nice. Oh, this one. Oh, this is a, sh oh, is this a pearl, a shell? It's either a, a mother of pearl shell button. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's very, oh, and it has a beautiful, has a beautiful peacock on it. Hand painted, oh, gorgeous. So this alone, if you like buttons, was worth the dollar. This alone was worth the dollar. Here's another. Oh, an owl. Oh my goodness. I looked out on this bag of buttons. Oh. These are gorgeous. I could make a whole video just looking over every single button. Just. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh my God, such beautiful buttons. 
I am super, super pleased with this. I, I almost didn't take the bag, but then I saw this guy peeking through the bag and I thought, oh, that's interesting. Well, I'm glad I picked this. I'm glad I went today. I'm glad I saw this and I got it because uh, this is a treasure trove for me. This will be excellent for my projects. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Now, the other thing I picked up was this cute little jar. 25 cents. No, oh, I'm pretty sure this is not an antique. This is probably... Uh, yeah, this is not an antique. It's just a remake, but it's really cute. And uh, maybe I could put some of these really pretty buttons in here. Ooh. So, got that. Now, the next thing I bought, you're going to think is a little weird, but I bought a bunch of silk ties. Silk. These are 100% pure silk. Most of these are uh, made either in Canada or Italy and uh, they are from a very reputable uh, store in Ottawa. So well, you get the person bought most of these in this very uh, nice boutique in Ottawa. So uh, yeah, these are all beautiful silk ties, and I bought these for the fabric, mostly. I, I will show them to my husband first, just in case he falls in love with one of these, and he has to have it, but uh, I, I got these for the fabric. I have done this before. I've taken silk ties. I've taken ties that my husband doesn't doesn't want to wear anymore or that got damaged, uh, you know, and he, the, he can't wear anymore because they got damaged. And I have taken them apart. And you can get a really nice piece of silk by taking the time to unpick, to pick at this and, and take the seams apart, take all the pieces apart. You can get some nice pieces of silk for your stitching projects. So, uh, and the wider the tie, the more fabric there is. So, I got these. To me, these are beautiful pieces of silk. That's how I see this. I see this as fabric. I always see stuff as a supply. And, uh, yeah. And this one... It says silk, but feels like it might not be. Hmm. This one's made in the USA. I'm not too sure about this one. Okay, this one I'm not sure is really silk. But the pattern, the color is gorgeous. So, uh, and uh, my thrift store was selling these for a dollar each because they are silk. They know that they know the difference too. So, uh, yeah, and they are all in excellent condition. So, uh, except this one, you could tell it's been worn. It was worn recently, maybe. So, uh, yeah. So, I think that uh, I scored well with my thrift store shopping today. I scored well on some things, some, some more craft supplies, uh, especially sewing. That's what uh, I got today. And some books for my collage and journaling work. So uh, I hope this was entertaining for you. And I uh, hope you got some ideas and some tips of uh, where to source some really nice uh, nice things for cheap. Uh, so please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.